Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología, Technology Moments. In this opportunity we have the we have had the chance to evaluate our experience with the Wacom Intuos Basic Pen S pen tablet, which is a very very powerful little tablet as you see here the measurement 6.9 by 7.9 inches and is a very powerful tool for those of you who are into designing, teaching uh, and many other things that we're going to talk about a little bit later. And packaging this device is very is very simple. It doesn't have many many things inside of the package. Um, it has the instruction manual, this little cable, the power cable, and it's the interface cable too. Mm, you're going to see that with many of these uh, tablets that are for designing and uh, used as pointing devices, you're just going to plug them in and they are ready to be used. You can just take the pen and start writing, pointing, etc. But our recommendation right now and with these devices especially is that you read the instructions and follow the step-by-step -step procedures. <clears throat> You're going to go to the wacom.com slash intus or uh, slash start slash intus. You're going to find right here the step-by-step -step that you need to follow in order to have your tablet ready and working very important step remember you are not just downloading the drivers the drivers have already been installed what you're installing right here is like the add-on software that is very important for you to realize that you have many more tools that you might want to use especially if you're into designing if you are designing with this and you're using photoshop and you're using illustrator you're using corel draw you're gonna want to use this software once you download the software that takes only a few seconds. You're going to follow the on-screen instructions and we're going to speed this up for you so you don't have to watch the whole process. And once the installation process is over and the libraries and the drivers are installed, the, the installer is going to ask you to restart the computer, which is a very, very important procedure for you to make, okay? So let's restart the computer. And once you restart the computer, it will finish the tablet driver installation and it'll take you through a through a step by step final procedure. It'll ask you to map your your opposite corners of the tablet for it to be noticed as calibrated or not. Uh, you're going to be asked if you want to register your device and complete this process. If you want, you can take a look at the Wacom website which has very uh, many other important tools for you to, to watch. One of the tools that we have found very useful with uh, pen tablets is Microsoft Whiteboard. Microsoft Whiteboard, as you may have already seen it in the, in the um, Windows Store, uh, it has uh, many, many cool features that we're going to see a little bit later. Let's take a look at the software that has, inst has been installed by the installer of the Wacom uh, Intuos. And you're going to see that it has a tablet, pen, mapping, and screen control tabs. And you're going to be able to use your, your pen as a pointing device. Right here, you're going to see what the pen uh, has, the pressure control, the mapping of each one of the, of the, of the buttons, and the on-screen controls. It is a, something that you need to go one by one, make some changes, and test it in order for you to find the perfect combination of these feel controls in order for you to have or to get the most out of your tablet. Mm, let's continue right here with the Microsoft Whiteboard. Once you open Microsoft Whiteboard, it'll ask you to accept the policies of Microsoft. It'll ask you to sign in onto the with your Microsoft account, uh, something that is recommended to do. Uh, actually, I don't think there is any option for you not to do it. But once you sign in, you're going to be able to use this tool. This tool specifically designed for those of you who are into teaching, making tutorials, videos, how to's, whatever you want for YouTube, you can do with this tablet because it is an awesome tool for that matter. Okay, uh, it's something that you need to get accustomed to it. It's something that you have to get used to do in order to have uh, like the feel of normal paper under your hand. 
Mm, it takes a little bit. The inclination, for example, of the tablet is something that is very important. But the, the look and the feel of having like, like a piece of paper beneath your, your hand is something that you're not going to go back to just a normal mouse or any other pointing device. It looks very much like, like writing on top of your, the screen with something that is very, very comfortable, which is having it on top of the table. Um, we recommend you to watch the video that we have regarding Google Hangouts Meet, which is a tool from Google for teaching. Uh, if you are uh, into teaching, especially under this late uh, video conferencing, and specifically right now has been very useful for virtual classes, virtual classrooms, teaching to your students remotely, creating tutorials for them. But this is something that is very, very useful right now when you have to make classes that students cannot attend to. Okay, so basically that's all for today. Mm, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, thumbs up would be a great idea. See you next time in Technology Moments. The Momentos de Tecnología, our channel in which we just share with you our experience with technology. Thank you very much and see you next time.